Hi everyone, I'm Eric, and today we're looking at episode 6 of Failed Night Abridged by Skullcrack Studios. Now, that last episode was a cliffhanger, but the episode, specifically this one, was already out afterwards, so I don't have to worry about catching up to it and see what's going on. And yes, before anyone says it, I know, if I had watched the original, finally, I wouldn't be really off about a cliffhanger because I would already know what happens. I mean, maybe not what happens with all the jokes thrown in and the abridged variant, but I just, I know if the character's going to be there, unless they decide to add them out again, which, which is a thing a lot of abridgers do, so I could also be wrong. Okay, maybe my plan isn't so good. Whatever. I'm just glad I can get to watch it right away, though, because it's out! <laughs> I enjoy this series. Just There's a lot of little things they throw in here that are quite good, like just little things to help differentiate scenes without just doing hard cuts. They'll give you time to decompress between a really funny scene and a really serious one. And, well, the mix of both, because a lot of the serious scenes are also funny, and the funny scenes are definitely serious sometimes. So, I just want to run right into it. There is a link below to the original video. Make sure to hit it up, and seriously, I just... I'm looking forward to this. Let's get started. Yep, right back where we started, good. And she's falling. Hey, y'all say! And that's her plan, isn't it? Wait, he can run down walls? That is a BS. Ah, I did not know he could do that. Also, her plan is actually, okay, suicidally stupid, but... Would you do this? You could have died. Well, there are plenty of cameras to see this area. Either you save me and lose your power, or I fall harmlessly into the water and accuse you of pushing me off the building. You made that stupid risk to win a fight. Yeah. You tricked me. You beat Corrado, someone I didn't even stand a chance against. Yeah. I know that a prolonged fight with you would be suicide. And I have no way of beating you quickly. You you do All realize the, the in problem favor. in her plan is that she thinks she can beat him without his power. What about helping you? What about honor? Was that all one big trick too? Yeah. Crocodile tears to make me lower my guard. You have a fight to get ready for. And you're still hurt from your duel last night. I suggest getting some rest. Wait! She's kind of a bitch. Yeah, honestly, just go to town. Tear her up in the fight. I think this is one of the fights where he could definitely win without... Oh, Iggy, just put on the Chris Hemsworth mask. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Iggy! Oh, I was just dreaming about you. Oh, that sounds weird. I mean... Interesting place to pass out. Why do you look like you're a dead body? <laughs> It's a great impression he does once. I really hope I'm waking up after getting hit in the head with that bottle. Oh, I'm going to assume not. You're awake. I thought you were never going to wake One up. One of the best characters. Uh, oh, okay, good. I still have time before the match. What happened? You just collapsed in the living room and you were soaking wet. The nurse said you looked like you just run a marathon. Yase tricked me. She called me to the roof and tricked me into saving her from falling. I used my magic up. God, I'm such an idiot. Huh. I'll say. So, I'm guessing you're the reason why one of my buildings is smashed all to shit? Yeah. Yeah, you're scummy enough. I'm okay with watching you lose horribly. I'll get back our dojo and I'll revive our family name. I'll hold our ideals above everything else. Yeah, you failed on two of them there. You think you can do your shitty prep magic in my dojo? Bitch, I eat shits like you for breakfast, lunch, and second lunch. Come back here when you want to learn how to be a real swordsman and not some petty cheat. Then, I'll beat you like your bitch father. I didn't get to beat him Wait. myself, but we got the dojo. He back. was offering to actually train her? I hope if you can hear me, you're proud of me, father. 
I've got something very hard to do now. So I have to go. Yeah, not be a failure. Be You're failing at it, Bob. They do the exact same sequence just to cut on the budget. They do, don't they? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool sequence, but really? I swear, I say has no chance. Hey! Is that Dave over there? Dave? Oh shit, hey Stan, I didn't know you came to these. There's literally nothing else to do in this whole school, man. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, well, awesome. All right, you enjoyed the show <laughs> there, dude. You look good, Iki. Better than I expected. Are you ready for our fight? Nah. You should back out now, Iki. I don't want to hurt you if I can help it. Well, it's a good thing you can't. You're still, you know, not as good as him. Okay, not gonna lie, that's a cool way to get the. That actually looks badass, damn it. That's some way, Bebop? Ooh! Okay, that is BS. How did she lose to that guy? Kind of curious how they're doing this. Oh! Still think he's gonna win just because I think he's better. But can't think I would know if I watched the original. And I'm kicking myself over. Jeez. Oh? Really? It goes with everything, but really? Oh, jeez. She must have some sort of delayed attack. But that means she must have prepared the battlefield beforehand. Oh! Oh, that's why she never beat him. Not home turf. Seems good for ambushing very little else. But she's ambushing him, so. She would be able to push Iggy into her attacks and use his reactions against him. She's been watching him fight, so it should be easy for her, right? Again, there's an obvious problem with this. He just has to remember what he's already been through, and he won't get hit there again. What? The hell? Unless he can. I don't know. Ha! Ugh. It's a good thing I don't have an issue with looking at blood, otherwise this would be really unpleasant! You can get away by predicting where I place my attacks? I can activate any hit I land on you. Try and dodge and you'll get hit. Block and you'll get hit. I land a swing somewhere vital and you'll be dead. So don't get hit. What happens if he broke her sword? Even with one hand? Do I have to break every bone in your body to make you give up? Also, why is he not punching? Cool music though. Oh, that is just That is actually badass. Fantastic. In a match between swordsmen, <laughs> there is not a way she can win. Cheating. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Blocking with the hilt of his blade. Are you guys still surprised when Iki does crazy shit like this? She's not wrong. <laughs> you ready to talk yet? Because I'm not surrendering like you want me to. And I think you don't actually want to beat me. No, she does. You have too much honor as a swordsman to win like this. No, she doesn't. Besides, I think there's something more here. You don't know me. He I have really to doesn't. beat you here. Stop pretending like you know me. I'm trying to figure out how much he knows about her crush on Stella. Stay back. Take this. I mean, she can still... He sees your moves. He saw where you slashed this time around. And he knows where he's been, so... Just die. Huh? 
That seems more like a backfire move. What? Why can you do that? And he literally just beat her one-handed. I think I know why you're holding back against me. What? It has to do with all those hints you keep dropping. You've been following us around, constantly trying to get close to us, wanting to spend almost every day at my dorm. With Stella. You do no shit. I think it's because you're in love with me. Huh? Wait, hold up. Excuse me. You fell in love with me, which is why you're doing all of this and why you can't really beat me. Oh, oh, oh God, Iki, that's Iki. I like women. I've been after Stella this whole time. Wow, no. I I'm flattered you think of me that way, but wow, no. Uh, yeah. You've been holding back. Because. Because you remind me of my father. He was so honorable, and to fight like him. I know he enjoyed dueling you when it killed That actually makes more sense. He did fighting you. I knew you booby trapped the stadium. I knew you tricked me when I went to the room. Kind of obvious. I show you what you're doing was a dark path. One you didn't need to walk down. And, you know, you're still your stronger than her and better. We'll but... always have your back, no matter what. Except for right now, where you're literally God attacking her from the front. You just wanted to make your father proud. Failed there. I forfeit. You well, you kind of lost anyway, so. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve your friendship. I did everything I could to hurt you. Too bad. You're so did Stella. That easily, Ayase. Do you seriously still want me around after all this? <laughs> Thank you. He has really odd Thank priorities, so doesn't he? For everything. Come on, man. Don't cry. You're a warrior. You stand tall and honorable. You can't be sitting around here. Actually acknowledging someone gets blisters. Don't see that much. Also, having fans before, I've had them. They hurt like hell. Dear father, I hope the day you wake up, you get to see my friends, Iki and Stella. They may be silly and they may be idiots, but they're my idiots and they care about me. I'd like to think you'd be happy that I met such kind and caring people. That they care about me as much as you do. I don't know why every time I see that hand I think skeletal, but ugh. That's probably what they're going for drawing it that way. Did he wake up? No, this is like a flash. Like a dream. Okay. That's why this is called Daddy Issues. It just hit me. Oh, yeah. The episode was Daddy Issues. And because of her daddy issues. Oh, Stella, huh? Oh, Jesus. I never should have told you. No, you should have. But she is cute. And I like a girl who can crush my head with her thighs. Actually, I agree. You never should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this is it, huh? I gotta go back and take care of my dad now that he's awake. Oh, he actually woke up. So you gotta take care of Stella now that I'm gone, all right? Oh, no, I didn't mean like, uh, listen, just forget I said anything. Nope. No, don't even worry about it. We all knew what you meant. I gotta admit, I hate she's leaving, but I'm still a little steamed from what she did in the fight. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Your opinion nor your desires. What do you mean by that, you pipsqueak? All right, you have a safe trip. Hmm. Don't be afraid to call They're getting better on the editing. They're cutting out sections and putting them in to get the flip flaps in. I'm pretty sure we don't have phones in the dojo. I can get one installed, though. Just for you guys. And if having Ayase as a friend makes him happy, then what charge would I have to show you his happiness? Huh, that's surprisingly mature. Wasn't expecting that sure either. Sure you didn't get replaced with a more bearable little sister? Sure you didn't get those boobs replaced? Hey, these are all natural and they're great. Hell yeah, same here, sister. High five. What? Thank you all again for everything. I'll never forget what you did for me. Just go be happy, Ayase. That's all we want from you. I may not be good at it, but I'll try. Good luck, Yuki, Stella, the rest of you I never learned the names of. <laughs> Take care of yourself. And Stella, wow. I, you especially do. Even after the redemption arc, she's still such a bitch. It's <laughs> awesome. Try. Now get going, you dumb nerd. Oh, man. 
Considering the dojo is far away, they literally put her on a bus, probably. I was thinking maybe we should take a break from training and fighting for a while. What else oh, is there yeah? to do? Where do you think we should go? Beach episode? Well, I know there's a school trip up to the mountains. Ah! Uh, maybe we could go camping? Hot spring? If I didn't know any better, Iggy, I'd say you were asking me out on a date. Want to bet to see if I am? Nah, I'm not a fan of losing money. But that's a yes. I'd love to. Do it. Did they just... Oh. And that was episode six. And it's kind of funny because at the end of the episode, there's a quite significant bit of a commentary. And he mentioned that this was something he actually struggled with and it wasn't his best work. And I'm like, no, actually, this is a very solid abridge. There was no huge gaps in the audio volume. So that was actually completely straight down from the previous episode where some people were noticeably louder or that they kind of faded off and they couldn't hear them. So actually the audio balancing in this one was very damn solid. That's really the biggest issue I've had here. Now, there were a few things where I noticed inconsistencies in the screening and how they made the lip flaps work. But honestly, they did good enough that that's just because I've seen so many I know what to look for now. So, I mean, yeah, no, it's kind of like the first episode of uh, SAO Abridged. You can kind of notice in a few of the lips where they don't quite match up. But... It's funny as hell, and I'm going to say the same thing here. Yeah, I'm judging you by the same way I judged the first episode of SAO Abridged. So, okay, that's actually incredibly harsh. I apologize for that. But overall, I think this was actually a really solid episode. You got what you needed in there. You had funny jokes. You had the music in there. And dear God, I realize I'm not going to show any of this video because copyright is going to claim everything. Uh, it'll be blocked in so many ways, but it'll be worth it just to see what I can get up all five seconds of it. I think you did a really good job. The music choices were good. The jokes you had in, just the little bit at the end where she's like, wow, I never should have told you. And he agreed, like, yeah, you never should have told me. Uh, the fact that she actually got a very solid hit in the fight by turning him down or completely bursting that bubble on him, because that's, um, yeah, that is a lot of damage right there. I would like to say that is more damage than she did in the entire fight, including the massively disabled, bloody, cut-up arm was less damage. I like the words they're giving them, the plot lines, the different dialogue. It's good. They're doing better. It, the audio is being balanced better. This is a definite sign of improvement. And honestly, I just like the fact that she's so... The sexual tension of anything involving her always spirals out of control to make it much more hilarious. Which is funny because it's not just her. It's anything involving, just in the scene. So if she's actually on a bus in the next episode... I'll be a little disappointed. Again, I know, I know, I need to see the original. I need to do it. Why haven't I done it? Oh, yeah, I got stuck on Star Blazers now. <laughs> yeah, I just started watching that. It's a long series, and I've been watching it for months. I, I don't watch it as much as I would like. Uh, all the same, what I'm basically trying to say is there is a link down below to the original episode. Make sure to hit up because that was really good, and I'm just looking forward to the next one, which, unfortunately is not out yet at the time I'm recording, so I can't just jump to the next one. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, though. So for everyone that's call crack, thanks for making this, and I'll see you later. Adios.